Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this short video. My name is Rachel Hunter. I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Advancing as a Profession Project that is part of Vermont's AEYC affiliate organization. We're excited to share with you the consensus document that is now available focusing on the three designations with aligned preparation pathways. I'd like to share with you the reactions from the task force around these concerns. The first concern is experience. We hear you. We on the task force are your colleagues in the workforce doing the same important work that you do every day. We know that experience working with young children and their families matters, as does professional development over the years. As the bridge to the three designations is built for our existing workforce, knowledge and experience must be acknowledged and honored. In our reading of the unifying framework, we have confidence that valuing the experience of the existing workforce is the intent of what is being recommended. The second concern we heard from the workforce was related to family child care providers and the unique role that they hold in our mixed delivery system. The task force said that some of us, as part of the task force, work in family child care home settings. All of us believe that early childhood educators in home based settings deserve consideration. These educators bring unique gifts, deep knowledge and expertise, and they have unique challenges and barriers. The standards may be the same, but the approach to get there may be different. This is about taking down barriers and placing supports. We see this commitment reflected in the unifying framework and believe that the new system will lead to a lasting change for a new, respected, valued, stable profession, not a change every three years. And the last concern that we heard from the workforce echoed in all corners of the state was really a question around, is there a need for additional designations? The unifying framework recommends three designations of early childhood educator one, two, and three. But we heard from the workforce that perhaps there might be a need for more than just those three designations. The task force responded by saying, the unifying framework structures the three designations to be built upon the professional standards and competencies which have three levels of increasing breadth and depth aligned with the three designations. In addition, the three pro professional preparation pathways, each with its own credential, are aligned with the three designations. We believe that adding more professional designations would undo that alignment, the benefits of which are less fragmentation, a unified national profession, and clear professional development pathways. We acknowledge the pipeline concern and given the need to attract more individuals to the career in early childhood education. We note that programs in Vermont already hire trainees and insist in the career development. While these individuals are not yet qualified to be part of the profession, it seems important that they have the pipeline and their career development aligned seamlessly with ECE1, Early Educator 1, to ease their way in becoming qualified to enter the profession.